Okay, so this is my uh, review of the Garmin Forerunner 645 Music. Um, I got it in the UK from Argos about two months ago uh, for £200, um, which I think is a pretty decent price for this particular watch. Um, so today, shortly, as soon as I finish recording this video, I'm going to take it back to Argos and try and get a refund. Um, I do not like this watch at all, um, and I'm going to explain why. So first of all, this is the stuff in the box, right? Not very much. You get the cable, clips onto the side, which is kind of a strange way to do it. Uh, you get some packaging and uh, you know some leaflets and whatnot in there. The instruction manual is not particularly useful. Um, and it is onto the website mainly for, for details and onto the internet to work out what you actually need to do. The Garmin website itself is okay, but again, not brilliant. Um, but the watch itself, which is the main thing. So um, how does it function as a watch? How does it function as a music player? So my, the reason why I'm taking this back is because the main issue I have with it is its inability to quickly um, and consistently get a GPS signal. Now, to start the watch, you have to, it's not a touchscreen watch, which is the first thing to remember, okay, which is a bit surprising on a £200 watch, but I guess they say, you know, no touchscreen is more energy efficient, blah, blah, blah. Um, so this is not going to work because I'm inside, but when you go outside, you're faced with this GPS red, and then it takes anywhere between one minute and half an hour to find the signal. Now, there are settings you can mess around with to uh, get it to lock onto the different GPSs. Um, you also, if you go, what a lot of people recommend is to go here and to use the sync i've actually reset it so it's no wi-fi network at the moment but you can go into here and and resync the resync to the wi-fi and i think it downloads information about the gps signal that's all great the the problem or the issue i have with that is that um i don't want to be messing around doing all of that business in the first place the second issue is even if you sync it up and everything it does work quicker so you're not waiting 10 15 minutes to, for it to find a gps signal um but it's still a couple of minutes uh, or a minute or something which is just honestly it's just too long and um it's, why you know it's ridiculous why should i have to do it it's crazy so it's frustrating and also i've missed a couple of runs because i thought it had synced and it hadn't and it just the process is a bit messy and it's another thing to worry about and make sure you get right so if you're like me and you're not that sort of a person where you want to be uh, very precise and messing around with all these types of settings you just want it to work this is definitely not the watch for you a couple of other observations about the watch in general um, it's very small okay so uh, I've got something for reference this is a can of, of Vaseline lip Arm or whatever so you can see it's much smaller than that it's probably just a bit bigger than a, a two pound coin or something i don't have a coin um to hand unfortunately but yeah it is very small um the the other top and and the other thing is like i say it's no touch screen so you have to use these buttons which initially i thought would be fine i thought it'd be a good a good move but because it's so small hitting these buttons whilst running is really difficult um, and also means that the interface is based on up down select up down select so for example if I go to um, it's even harder with one hand music so you can hold this button down it will take you to the music section okay press play now this okay it's not going to work it's just been reset but okay look i've got to go down i've got to go down then i've got to press another button to select it whilst whilst you're running it's just not a great experience the other the other challenge of course if i just pop this on my wrist bear with me a second so now this is on my wrist right so um whilst i've got big hands and hitting these buttons particularly the, the ones on the bottom side particularly the ones on the left hand side is pretty much impossible so let me try and prop up the camera 
and see if I can demonstrate that. So here's the here's the watch or whatever, and this button here is okay. You can hit that right as you're running along. You can get it with this finger. How do you get this one for up and down? You've got to come with your thumb. You know, my thumb pretty much covers both of those buttons there. I don't know if you can see that. I can't even see the screen, but my thumb pretty much covers both of those buttons. So, you know, you're running along, you're bouncing along. You've got to precisely hit these buttons, which are, you know, six mil wide. So you're hitting these, boys. And then you've got to hit it five times to go through the menu. Then you've got to press the right button to select it. It's just it's just a difficult UI to navigate, um, and it's a difficult UI to use. So, for me, this is a miss. The music player is, you know, it's fine. It works, but I mean, it's uh, it's not brilliant. The the software that um, Garmin ship is pretty. Uh, rubbish in my opinion um, it, your mileage may vary you may like it more I didn't really like it I'll probably throw some uh, video up on that as well comparing it to the Huawei which this is the watch I was using previously um, and this is the watch I replaced the Huawei main reason was it doesn't work with Strava and um, it's it doesn't have music playback okay it's an older watch the this watch I much prefer so for me you can see the size difference if I pop this on my wrist side by side the other difference the design look at the difference in the buttons the buttons here stick out they're much easier to hit than this thing which is much more low profile it's also a touch screen I mean it's a different watch to be fair but um, I much prefer it. I personally find it much easier. I prefer the UI. The UI is much clearer and simpler. The Garmin is difficult to see exactly what's on it. The screen on this is much brighter. The screen on this is dim and somewhat difficult to see in daylight. Um, not a huge issue again, but I mean, just a, another thing. So yeah, I need to find another watch. Um, this one, the Garmin music player, nah, not so great to be honest. Um, but I suppose if you've got small wrists and you like jumping through menus and small fingers, then it could be for you. Um, I mean, it, the, the GPS thing is a, is a monumental issue for me. That's the main reason for me returning it but um, there you go that's just my review just my thoughts uh, let me know in the comments below if you agree disagree if you've got any questions specifically about it I'll try and help out all right cheers